Manchester United didn't have a vintage performance against Leicester at the King Power Stadium, but Man United come away with another three points under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who now has nine wins from his first ten games as Man United manager. As, it really is mad when you think about that, given that where we were a few months ago to where we are now, but that game today was a far from vintage performance. It really was. You know, we won 1 0, but that could have been a very different game. Because I would say for probably about 70 minutes, Leicester were in control of that match. Man United came out of the blocks firing. In that first 10 to 15 minutes, we were all over them. Rashford had an early chance. And when he missed, you're thinking, mm, this happened against Burnley and we know what happened in that game. But in the one moment of real quality in that match, Man United took it. Paul Pogba's pass through to Marcus Rashford. A sensational pass, matched only by the touch and finish from Rashford. A truly world-class goal for Man United and that proved to be enough on the day. But we made that hard work. We really, really did because Leicester, as soon as we went 1-0 up, we should have continued going because Leicester were then going to stay a little bit higher up the pitch and we can then be the counter-attacking team. But I think what Solskjaer did today was set up, not defensively, but he set up a little bit deeper because we, he knew that Leicester were in a counter-attacking team that would look for the space in behind. And by playing slightly deeper, we nullified that threat. Leicester did have a lot of possession, were threatening us, but didn't make too many clear-cut chances. And De Gea was there right at the end to make that save. It looked like Juan Mata's free kick at Stamford Bridge a few years ago. Fingertip save. Wonderful, wonderful save. But I think there's quite a lot to be largely frustrated with today in terms of individual performances. Ashley Young again summing up exactly why fullbacks are the problem position for Manchester United. Offered shit all going forward. He really is a good professional and a good player and a nice guy. But good professionals and nice guys don't win you Premier Leagues. And Ashley Young is never going to win us the Premier League as our right back. And neither is Antonio Valencia. So the quicker that is solved next year, the better. Whether that's in under Solskjaer's management or somebody else. Luke Shaw, on the other hand, I think, played a very good game today. Nemanja Matic certainly came into the game. I think he was quite poor in the first half. Improved in the second half. But our midfield didn't control that match. I felt I knew what Matic was doing. I felt I knew what Popper was doing. But Herrera, I felt he was a little bit lost in midfield. Not as lost as Alexis Sanchez, though, who went off after 65 minutes. And I didn't really see him getting the game at all. He was chosen ahead of Anthony Martial. But on that performance, you really couldn't put him in the next game. Would you really start Sanchez against Fulham? No, you'd probably bring Martial straight back in. But Solskjaer, all of us want us to see 4-0, 5-0, 5-1, those sorts of games week in, week out. But it doesn't happen in football. It really doesn't. We know that. And what we've seen under Solskjaer today is another type of performance and another type of win. Because we've had the games like Cardiff where we have blown teams away, 90 minutes of flair and attack in football, the best sorts of performances. Then he had Spurs away. A 1-0 win, like today, but more frantic. Really sitting deep, last-ditch defending, and David Ahea having a blinder. But today, we were 1-0 up pretty much the whole game. And I did feel that Leicester threatened. Every time they got a set piece, I'm thinking, oh, Harry Maguire or Evans are causing problems here. And had they been more clinical with their finishing, I think Leicester would certainly have got at least a point today. But they weren't. Lindelof and Bayer kept a clean sheet. They're first together as a partnership. United kept another clean sheet. I think the thing that frustrated me the most towards the end of that game was the lack of on-the-pitch game management. You saw that run from Pogba towards the end where he broke through. His strides are ridiculous. He ran past three or four players in a matter of like four or five strides. And that sort of run took the pressure off United. But United were poor. Lukaku and Pogba towards uh, a few minutes early were just... Lackadaisical, didn't really want the ball. All of a sudden, Leicester got possession back. We weren't taking the balls into the corner. We weren't playing small triangles. We were just letting Leicester get the ball back. That was poor on the pitch management from the players themselves. And that needs to improve. We didn't need to make that game anywhere near as nervous for ourselves as we did. But we did. Because that management wasn't there. But to see Rashford, you know, going back to the positives of the game, you know, it is three points. It's another win for Solskjaer. And, you know, the momentum continues and continues. And this is a hell of a month we've got coming up. PSG in the Champions League. Chelsea in the FA Cup. Liverpool in the Premier League. Some seriously, seriously big games coming up. 
and we we need to see these different characteristics of this Solskjaer United team. Win when he win when he playing wonderful. Win when you're playing shit. Because that's what Fergie did so often. You know, Fergie wasn't all about the three, four, five nils. He loved a one nil win when you're playing shit. And I feel today, honestly, we were largely pretty poor. Apart from that individual moment of quality there from Rashford and Pogba, uh, the short chance into Rashford, I can't remember us creating too many clear-cut opportunities because we weren't at the races. I feel we set up slightly more defensive to nullify that powerful counter-attacking threat that Leicester do have. But look at Leicester's form. Drew against Liverpool in midweek, came from behind there after going 1-0 down early at Anfield. We beat them 1-0. We didn't concede. They've beaten City this season. They, I think they've beaten Chelsea as well. This Leicester team is good. So that's a really good away win for Manchester United. And it just keeps this Solskjaer momentum building and building and building. Nine wins out of ten. One draw against Burnley. And that draw, awful game, 2-0 to 2-2 right at the end. Just everywhere you look, we're just seeing different types of games, different types of wins. But they're all wins. And everything is still moving in the right direction under Solskjaer. Today, as I said, I would have liked to see more on-the-pitch management because United did not need to make that as nervous for themselves as it was. But ultimately, it proved enough because De Gea was there to make the saves when we needed to. And it was a 1-0 win and a clean sheet for Manchester United. We've had a few of them under Solskjaer now. Maybe this defence isn't as trash as we all thought it is. But it still is. Because you think Lindelof and Shaw and De Gea, they're your three certs in defence. Who Lindelof's partner is going to be, I'm not sure. And who that right back is going to be, I'm not sure. But they're the two weak points, but we still kept a clean sheet. And I think the whole midfield today felt slightly disjointed. There was a real lack of uh, aggression, I would say, in midfield. We felt a bit complacent. Why Leicester took Madison off, I don't know. But that gave us a little bit of a boost, I suppose. But three points. Another three points. Another win. A Man United... Keep on rolling under Solskjaer. Who is your man of the match? What do you think about the game today? I know a lot of you are going to have your frustrations, but look at it for the positives that it is. Another three points and a tough away win for United today. So I think Solskjaer has done very well there.